welcome to another educational video about screen printing by Cat Spit Productions. Thanks a lot for clicking on my video today. I truly appreciate your time and attention very much. You have no idea how much it means to me that you spend time watching my videos and learning from the videos. And if you like the videos and you learn from them, you like the tips, you like the advice, please make sure to sign up to YouTube and subscribe to my YouTube channel because that's a free and easy way to help support the continued production of free educational screen printing videos right here on YouTube for everyone to enjoy. I wanted to do a video about just a simple thing about ganging up artwork on film and ganging up artwork on screen. So when you have a couple of pieces of artwork that you want to print, uh, you maybe have one size of inkjet film or something and you know, you can put a couple of pieces on one piece of inkjet film and furthermore, you can actually put more than one design on a 20 by 24 manual screen. If you follow me on Instagram, you will be familiar with some of these designs. You can check me out at Catspit Screen Print Supply on Instagram, where you get a lot of behind the scenes looks at what I'm doing, uh, you know, in between videos and stuff. So um, here are a bunch of Catspit designs that I'm going to make some freebie shirts with. And um, I want to put this, all of this artwork, I am going to fit on two screens. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna gang up all of this artwork on two different screens. All right, and you can see that the, in the top left area, you see there's two little circular designs. Those are the crest prints or whatever, you know. And so those will be cut and placed specifically on one screen. So let's get set up to burn some screens. All right, and remember, I sell screen printing equipment and supplies at catspitscreenprintsupply.com and right here in Phoenix, Arizona, so check it out. Okay, for this part, I decided to use a student screen. Okay, so let's imagine that we're in the dark room, you know, and uh, we're going to set this screen up to expose, okay? Today, I needed some light so that you guys would get a better view. Okay, and this screen is just a student screen, so it's not something we're going to use, but let's talk about this. Okay, so we got, uh, for one screen, I'm going to put these two designs on. I have a large one and a little bit smaller one, so I can do adult shirts, you know, small through extra large, and then I have one a little bit smaller, maybe, if I want to use on lady shirts or something like that. Okay, but you can see it's pretty big film. You got all this stuff. And we're really, ma we're really going to be maxing out, and of course, <laughs> they're going to be like this. But um, we're really maxing out the situation here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out the film, okay? Because there's just too much plastic to deal with. So you do this. And don't hastily cut a piece of your artwork off, okay? Because that is like annoying. Okay. And since these are one color prints, I don't really need to worry about the alignment, you know, all that much. I just want to eyeball it. So this is what I would do for these two designs. And I'm going to actually set this up and burn these screens. It's just that I have to, I want to do that in the dark and everything with the safe lights. And this is a better view for you so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so what I want to do is leave enough space for my squeegee and ink on each side because we're going to print both of these by flipping the screen around, right? We can clamp it in on this end and print this one and then clamp it in on this end and print this one with a rear clamp press. Or, I mean, you could do it with a side clamp too, I guess, of course. But, um, so, the idea is here, we want, we want them to be as close as possible, really, here, and give us some space here. Okay? So, in that case, I might trim these a little bit closer, just so I don't have overlapping plastic, even though it would probably expose and cure fine. Okay, so that's it, something like this. And then 
And then when I tape these off to print, I'm going to have to use a piece of masking tape in here to get a nice seal between the two prints. So I would, you know what I'm saying, I would use a piece of masking tape here and then possibly paper over here. Okay, so this is how I'm going to burn these two designs on a screen, a 20 by 24, okay? So that's how these two will be ganged up. All right, now, when you're dealing with maybe, maybe a business of some kind, you're going to have a big, you might have a big front print or back print, right? And then you're going to have maybe a left chest print or something, a hat print or who knows, some smaller designs that might be used for other garments or things, okay? So in this case, again, you know, we have all this plastic and all this film, so the first thing I'm going to do is, is trim it out. And again, one color design, so it's not critical as far as, you know, all I have to do is eyeball it. Okay, and these two little guys, we're going to cut out and liberate them from each other. And we want to put, uh, let's see, left chest would be over there, I guess. Okay, and this print, whatever it is, I don't really know. I just made two different sizes, um, so we'll see. But anyway, that's how I would do this one. And again, watch your spacing. Give yourself enough room for squeegee and ink to do your flood and stroke, right? So you bring it down a little bit. And the same with these. Remember, the sweet spot is in here, right? So we want to try to stay near the sweet spot. Of course, it's not always possible. And don't, um, don't have your artwork the wrong way. <laughs> Make sure it's the right way, OK? You know, don't flip it the wrong way. And that's it. So this is something like, this is how I'm going to do this one. Okay, just like this. So this is a big front or back design, whatever you want to do. And then left chest and whatever. This could be whatever we want to do with it. Okay, so that's how you can, you know, gang up artwork on screens. And as you can see, you know, with these two, I, I had an eight and a half by 11 inch, eight and a half by 11 inch uh, letter size paper. And I put two of these on one and just cut them out. Okay, so you can do that. Say you had, you know, two bigger designs, you could put them on a 13 by 19, put them on each end and cut them out. Or you could put a bunch of little designs on a 13 by 19 sheet or whatever and cut them out. So that's all you can have to do. You can, you can gang up artwork on film positives and then cut them out and place them where they need to go on the screen. That's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel today and make sure you check out my offerings at catspitscreenprintsupply.com if you need screen printing equipment or supplies. It's more important than ever to consider trying my products if you need supplies and equipment. All right, so check me out at catspitscreenprintsupply.com or come on down to the storefront right here in Phoenix, Arizona and speak with me personally. Thanks a lot for watching my video today. I really appreciate your time and attention. If you like what you see, please rate, thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.